what is depth psychology? There's so many answers to that question. And yet, I think um, overarching all those answers is a couple core ideas. Uh, first, it's that which, below, uh, which lies and lives below the surface of things, in depth, uh, the material of the deep psyche, or what's popularized as the unconscious. So depth psychology has as, as its first task the capacity to explore what lives at the depth of our experience. Secondly, though, depth psychology really lives in another realm, which has to do with the uh, imagination, the activation of the human imagination, the place, the source from which stories come, from which uh, inspiration arises, the place of mythology, the place of the great works in literature, that which comes forward in culture. So depth psychology really takes as its second move the exploration and the encouragement of the imagination. And the last I would say, depth psychology is rel relevant to today's world in the sense that we're all asked to see the social, political, economic realities that face us in our daily life and certainly in soci societal affairs. We're asked to look at those with a perceptive eye, with an eye towards what lives behind, what motivates our actions and our behavior. So depth psychology really is a way of seeing a mode of being as much as an academic discipline, a, a way of seeing into that which lives underneath the institutions, the structures, and the behavior uh, from which we're all part of and which we all grow out of.